Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jesse Daly. Welcome back to Daily Weather. Thank you so much for being here. My friends, we have another forecast that has just come out today from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration uh, ahead of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. And my friends, we should quickly go over this because um, it's a little bit concerning um, and in line with some of the other forecasts that have come out so far, for example, from AccuWeather and from Colorado State University's Tropical Meteorology Project. The uh, NOAA predicts an above normal 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. Um, there are several reasons for this, and we'll get into that in just a minute. I do want to read to you here um, exactly what uh, they are predicting. NOAA's outlook for the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from June 1st to November 30th, predicts a 30% chance of a, nor a near normal season, a 60% chance of an above normal season, and a 10% chance of a below normal season. Essentially what that means is we're looking at very likely an above normal season. The agency is forecasting a range of 13 to 19 total named storms, which are storms with winds of 39 miles per hour or higher of those six to ten are forecast to become hurricanes with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher including three to five major hurricanes of category three four or five noaa has a 70 percent confidence uh, percent confidence in these ranges you may hear some chickens i am in the u.s virgin islands we have chickens everywhere they're basically like squirrels down here <laughs> so you may hear the little uh chickens running around and um squawking so as we can see here's a graphic uh showing the the season the the probability for an above normal season along with the name storms um now the factors influencing this forecast similar to accuweather and Colorado State University's Tropical Meteorology Project, which I have another video. I will link that right up here. Um, the season is expected to be above normal due to a confluence of factors, NOAA says, including the continued ENSO neutral conditions. That means um, a, a, a phase of the La Nina El Nino cycle, an, an in between phase, is what's called an ENSO neutral phase. In an ENSO neutral phase, um, Essentially, the, the, the conditions across the Atlantic uh, are similar, similar to what occurs usually in, an El, in a La Nina, meaning that the, um, there is decreased wind shear across the Atlantic Ocean, which can help cyclones to form. That's just a quick bit of information there for you to help you understand. Also, another factor is warmer than average ocean temperatures. Um, again, forecast for weak wind shear and the potential for higher activity from the West African monsoon, a primary starting point for Atlantic hurricanes. Um, so that's when you when we, we talk about tropical waves emerging off of the west coast of Africa, that is what it, this is referring to, the West African monsoon. Um, so again, uh, you know, we have, um, you know, we have a, a situation that shows that we have to be prepared, obviously, here. Um, this also mentions that um, this hurricane season features the potential for a northward shift of the West African monsoon, producing tropical waves that seed some of the strongest and most long-lived Atlantic storms. That caught my eye simply because last year in 2024, we didn't actually see a ton of waves coming off, tropical waves coming off the west coast of Africa um, due to the atmospheric conditions that were at play last season. According to NOAA, it looks like maybe that may not be the case this year. Obviously, it's still really early, um, so we'll see, but it was, this this particular, you know, for uh, paragraph caught my eye because we have to watch those tropical waves that you know they come across uh, off the west coast of africa and they move across what's called the main development region um, which is an area of the atlantic ocean between basically where i am um, in the caribbean and the west coast of africa got to watch that closely these are the names for the uh 2025 atlantic hurricane season so if your name is on this list um i hope that uh your um your hurricane name will not be um, too bad of one. Let's just hope for no really bad storms this year. Um, 
It's also worth noting, my friends, there are some upgrades uh, that have occurred this year uh, to forecasting products. I thought this was a really important one. The Global Tropics um, Hazards Outlook um, has extended, been extended from two weeks to three weeks to provide additional time for preparation and response. I'm going to show you that actually right now just because I actually love this, um, this product. Uh, I showed you in my last video as well. So here we go. Um, week two valid from May 28th, which is uh, next week and to June 3rd and then June 4th to June 10th, week three. Um, there's nothing that the um, the Hurricane Center is flagging uh, in the Atlantic or the Caribbean right now. There are a couple of areas um, in the Eastern Pacific, south of Mexico to be exact, that we may see some tropical development. So we'll keep a close eye on everything. The final thing I want to leave you with, my friends, is a... Oh, actually... Okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, it, the final thing I want to show you here, I want to leave you with is a quick look with uh, at the global forecast system, courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com. Let's just quickly take a look what uh, the global forecast system is looking at. Um, I'm right around here in the, um, the Caribbean region. If you can see where I'm circling, I will get some better, uh, I plan to get some better software here. So it's a little bit clearer for you to see. Advancing this to May 26th, uh, we do start to see south of Mexico in that area that I just highlighted, that red area. We do see something develop in the eastern Pacific. We'll see if that um, occurs. Now, also, this is interesting, around June 1st, we are seeing something maybe the GFS is Global forecast system is bringing something together, developing it in the Western Caribbean and this area around, uh, looks like Cuba, Jamaica area. But again, it's still a little ways out. Keep moving it forward now into June 5th. Um, still not a whole lot happening. Um, but, you know, of course, a lot can change. So the point of this particular video, my friends, um, is that we have... Uh, a um, potential for, hang on a second, uh, we have the potential for a busy season, um, as NOAA has predicted, again, an above normal 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. Now is the time to prepare. Um, so please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell um, for my channel, if you would not mind. Again, I am here in the Caribbean, and I will be here uh, throughout the season to hopefully bring all of you, um, you know, the latest updates uh, throughout the season. Hopefully we won't have any storms, but um, I will make sure to keep you posted. I will go tend to these chickens right now. And <laughs> thanks for watching. As always, I will keep an eye on the tropical skies come rain or shine.